Success is my revenge. Niggas know how I get with money call. I walk in, put my bank against the wall. Like, fuck them. I make music for everybody that just, you know, I don't make the fraud music. I make the music, I, I write about everyday life, like shit that I go through. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, I'm not gonna write about something I don't do. Like, I'm not really the type to get at home. I can't sit here and tell, talk about busting somebody in the head and, you know, I don't kill 150 motherfuckers in my songs and all that type of shit. Like, I write about what I do, like, daily life. Like, you know, I got a job, you feel me? I got, I got a son, you feel me? Just everything I do every single day, and that's what people hear through my music. You feel me? I always was in the music, but I never was like, I never was the type of nigga. Like, I don't really know when I started rapping. Like, I, I know I just started writing raps, and then the first time I knew I could rap was with my man Chiz. Shout out to Chiz. He started in the basement, you know. We started making our own little CDs with, with the little ass computer mic, and just sent from there. Like, and that's really that's really how I started. You want to take it back, like, what, what really, like, what really, like, put that shit on for me? But the whole Rockefeller movement is what really was like, oh, this is it, like, you know what I'm saying? Watching, you know what I mean? Big B.D. Siegel fan, crazy Jay-Z fan, all of them, the whole state property. All that shit was an influence to me, like, that, that really, like, Dipset, like, the whole Jewels and Cam, like, the whole Rockefeller as a whole, like, that just kind of, like, molded me into music. Like, that's when I was like, this what I want to do, you feel me, like? That, that's what really put me on. Nowadays, I listen to everybody. I'm not a music hater, but none of them really make me get into my bag because I'm my own artist. So I don't want to be like none of them, or I don't want to be like nobody that's in the game right now or none of that. But, you know, Rockefeller is what really like, that was, that was, that was my, my main, that, they had my ear. Before I even picked up a pen and pad, I used to play ball. Like, before that, like, I was known like Rich used to hoop. Like you know, a lot of people that know me growing up, they be like, "Well, Rich used to play ball and shit like that." You know, so Chris playing ball. Even though I barely do it now, but because I be so focused on this, and, you know, taking care of my son and shit. But play ball. Shout out to the whole team, Philly. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to everybody I used to hoop with. Cause, you know, that definitely had a big impact in my life. You know, my pop used to play ball. You know, so that's in me. So you know, play ball, rap. I ain't really big on the video games, I'm type ass, but, you know, regular shit like that, like, I like to chill, you know, females, man, with ball rap and females, that's, that's what I was into, I cut, I cut hair and everything, but, uh, that happened from playing ball, Bob Dukes gave me the boot out the crib, I had no money, and a couple of niggas I know that cut hair, was like, you know, like, we'll teach you how to cut hair, you know, so I went in the shop, I started, you know, I fell off for a little bit, cause I started doing other shit, but, you know, I'm big on cutting hair. That's why you're going to see me in a lot of barber shops and doing a lot of things because I was in the environment for a couple of years. So, so you know, cut hair, play ball, that's with the females and rap. You know what I mean? That's what makes rich for real. You're going to get a 90s feel from it definitely because that's when I came up. A lot of those beats catch my ear. Whenever I go through and I'm trying to find beats, a lot of old 90s beats or, you know, late 90s beats, all that shit catch my ear. Those flows, like you gonna hear a lot of that in my voice and in, in my sound. You know, I like to rap. I can't really just talk about nothing. Like, I, like that's why during that whole turn up stage, I couldn't really make no music because, like, I can't talk about nothing. I gotta really tell you like what's going on. I gotta rap about shit. Like, so you gonna get a nice '90s vibe. I mean, I'm not all the way '90s, but you gonna. Be, when you hear my music, you gonna see what I'm talking about. You gonna hear stories. You gonna hear personal things about me. You know, it's not just gonna be I got a hundred motherfucking bottles and I got all these women and let's do all these drugs and all that. That's not all the time. Me might get it a little bit, but it's not like that's not the whole full effect. Like, we gonna get into detail with certain things. Like, no, I ain't going gold till I find it though. Rap dreams need a breath for the Cali air. Grind hard, need that money longer than Stally Bear. I kill in overtime. I got that Kobe grind.